What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Unova Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we uh, we went to go capture some legendary Pokemon, and I'm talking about the legendary genies. And, well, that makes 57 Pokemon in all, and, well, I think we are close to, yeah, we, we, we're getting an understanding on how to finish this whole uh, Pokedex right here. The goal is to get all the Pokemon we can. And, well, in this episode right here, we're going to be going to the Cycling Road because I feel that's the quickest way to, uh, well, that is the quickest way to, uh, to Fuchsia City. Now, in Fuchsia City, we will be encountering a lot more than usual. There's a few, there's the Saf, or no, the, the Safari Zone, there's a... Uh, there's quite a lot of stuff, guys, that I kind of want to see, especially here in Pokemon Unova Red. Uh, seeing all the surprises, kind of want to see some more. Plus, I want to get the Surf Technique. That way, we can actually just, like, you know, start doing some stuff. Like, I don't know, using the Cheat Codes. Uh, not the Cheat Codes, but the Missing No Cheat. I kind of want to see how that works out right there. Now, let's see. This guy, I'm going to ride with my girlfriend. Cool. We're riding together. Good. And, well, let's see. There's a long path over the water. And this one right here, and it's selling on City Department Store. Okay, okay. So, I get it, guys. I know. Why would you use the missing note sheet? Uh, because I could. Because I can, I should say. Uh, it's not that, you know, it's not that I didn't want to use it. It's just that I kind of want to see what happens right here. Plus, knowing that you can get every single Pokemon in this game without trade or something like that, including the legendary uh, Pokemon that are, like, exclusives, yeah, you know, that's a good deal right there. So, I'm going to try and achieve that, and, uh, you know, if any of you guys don't like it, then, oh, well, you know, it's pretty much what I want to do right here in this, uh, in this uh, channel. I mean, this is why I make walkthroughs, guys, because I do things my way, and, you know, kind of doing things my way kind of led to, you know, quite a few subscribers. Which I definitely thank you guys for. And well, look at that. We're uh, completing some stuff. And here he's coming out with a clink. So let's go with an oinkinator. And as you guys can see, I brought back Spoon because, well, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know why I brought back Spoon. But I kind of want to see everything I, I can find right here. Uh, let's see. There's another thing, too. Getting the surf technique can actually open up. Uh, you know, other spots like, I don't know, the power plants. I kind of want to see what Pokemon you find there. Um, I mean, we've already captured the the genies, okay? So, chances are it's not a legendary Pokemon, but it might be just an average Pokemon that you would probably never think of finding. Like, probably like a Drudegedge or something like that. Or a Drudagon, or whatever you like to call it. I don't know. But for me, that's kind of, that's part of the adventure right there, which makes it fun. And, you know, it, it's it, it's probably the reason to why I started doing these hack games, because, shoot, I mean, I've never, I've only played, I've only ever played one hack game prior to Pokemon Brown, Pokemon Xenoverse, Pokemon, uh, you know, Pokemon Unova Red, It's and that's Liquid Crystal, and just having playing this game, uh, for quite some time, it's just getting my interest up in the other ones that come out, or they came out and whatnot. And, well, look at that, level 31 Gigalift. So we're going somewhere right here. And, well, here comes a Drill Burst, so let's go ahead and switch it out to Mudslide. Yeah, it's just, you know, my interest is going up there, and, you know, I kind of want to do this. I kind of want to, you know, I kind of want to show whatever I can right here on this channel for you guys, especially in hack games. And, well, here comes a Metal Claw. And, well, here comes a Bubble Beam. Now, I get that my schedule is getting up there. I am literally not finding time for anything except for the weekends. Trust me, guys. <laughs> this is a total... This is like a total adult thing. I cannot wait for weekends because weekends, I have them free. I literally do, guys. Not joking. Back then, it would be working every single day for, like, four years straight. I've only ever had, what, two vacations, and that's about it. And knowing that I have the weekends off and I can actually use the weekday, like, the weekends to actually, like, you know, come out with more videos, that that's great. That's awesome. And, you know, that actually will enable me to come out with a little bit more hack games and whatnot, too. And crap! 
Oh, Gigalith, you suck! Okay, so... Okay, time to get some vengeance on, uh, on, uh, on this one right here. So let's go straight for a low kick right here. Now, I get that I came out with a lot of hack games, but that, that was when I thought I had time. That was when I thought, you know, oh, I can do it all and I'll finish it all within a, you know, within a, a timely manner. Well, I was proved wrong, guys. I was very I was proved wrong. Uh, trust me on this. There, There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes, which I am actually fixing up. I'm actually making it, uh, making the effort to actually, you know, to actually get everything out in a timely manner. And plus, to have it on a schedule, kind of like I did last year when I had so many walkthroughs come out. Now that I got a majority of the main walkthroughs out, I think I'm, I think it's time for me, like, I think it's time for me to just, like, focus on, you know, games that, you know, that are outside, uh, outside the, the regular spectrum, you know, like cat games, that kind of stuff, you know, wait until, you know, the other games come out, like Pokemon Brilliant, uh, Brilliant, or the, the, the new, uh, the remakes, because I think I'm all cut up except for Pokemon Sun and Moon, which, you know, I need to take my time with, mainly because <laughs> it takes a lot of time to actually get through that game. And, you know, I don't know, I'm just ranting. I, I really am. I'm just ranting. But I am thinking of doing more hack games, probably towards the end of the year. That way, once I know my schedule has lightened up, boom, we're back at it again with the main games right here. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Oinkinator right here. Now... I have been looking at a certain Pokemon, uh, a certain, a certain YouTuber, uh, for the last few weeks, and this is where I actually found Pokemon Unova Red and uh, and some of the other walk or some of the other hack games that you know have been coming out. And for me, I think the next one that will be coming out might be uh, Kalos Crystal instead of. Uh, the other crystal version that I had planned or something like that. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll figure it out, guys. I'm, I'm just going, I'm just ranting about everything. I'm, like, I want to play every game. I really do. I really want to play every single game I can. That way, when it comes time for me to just go off into the sunset, I'll have a legacy right here on YouTube. Never, I'm not thinking of, uh, of quitting. I haven't thought of it as of lately, I mean, but I kind of want to leave a nice a nice channel, a library full with uh, Pokemon games that you guys would, would love to see and, you know, have good comments about and all that stuff. So, here we go, uh, Hypnosis Attack, and, well, Fungus is asleep right here, which is great, and, well, let's go with a Fly Attack. Now, totally didn't think of doing that whole... <laughs> Yeah, totally didn't think of, uh, you know, using hypnosis. I just slipped my button right here, so there we go. Gigalith defeated, or defeated the, the other one. And here comes a Dino, or Dino. That's a Pokemon I'm scared of because it is a Dragon-type Pokemon as well. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Oinkinator right here. And let's go with the Low Kick. And that does it. Oh, yes. Okay, alrighty, and here comes a Golette, and well, let's go with Mudslide right here. Now, the goal is to get these Pokemon all leveled up, ready to go, before we, you know, we, before we finish this whole thing right here, before we start using, you know, missing no cheats and all that stuff, and Golette right here is just, uh, yeah, <laughs> he's not taking any, oh yeah, he's not taking advantage of anything like that right there. Okay, so here we go, another Bubble Beam, and there we go, Golette defeated. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so everything's working out the way we can, and well, let's see. All right, I think I defeated everybody. So I'm gonna try and skip most of these people right here because I want to get to Fuchsia City, guys. That's my thing right there. Do I want to see what kind of Pokemon I, uh, we can find right here in the Cycling Road? Yes. Which I'm gonna do. Well, I'm gonna do off screen, or should I not? I don't know. Kind of rushing into things right here. So here we go. Let's go with a fly attack. And here we go. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. Okay. 
Gigalift kicking butt, taking names. Here comes a Scrafty, and I'm going to continue on right here. Now, Gigalift has uh, been benefiting a lot since they learned Fly Attack right here. So here comes a low kick, misses, Fly Attack, does its thing, and, well, here comes that low kick. Does not work. And, well, here we go. And there we go. Fly Attack does it. Okay. All righty. Look at that. And say hello to level 32 for Gigalift. Oh, yes. We are... Yeah, we are kicking butt right here. Okay, so... You know what? Let's go ahead and see what Pokemon we can find right here, okay? I'm just going to give it one try, and then off-screen, I'm just going to capture everybody else. So, here we have a Rooflet. So, I'm only assuming that it's, uh... It's pretty much the same Pokemon I found when I got the, the Fly Technique. So, I'm just going to go downhill and make a run for Fuchsia City while battling maybe one or two trainers right here. Huh. Okay, alrighty, so... Yeah, I am looking at these new hack games that I'm... that that I think is... like, that I think are easy for me to... to complete. I'm looking at them and I'm just like, wow. I'm, I'm amazed of how we've progressed in, in all these things, so... Here we go, Joltix. Joltik getting a fly and then here comes a slash attack and well let's go again with another fly attack right here and well fly attack does its thing and well look at that okay alrighty and well let's see he's gonna come out with a Durant so let's go straight to Oinkinator and see if we can get it to level 40 and Oinkinator hello 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 and let's go with an ember attack right here and well there it is what now? Okay, alrighty. There we go. And, uh, well, we're still not at level 40, but we'll still get there. We'll get there somehow. Alright, let's just drive. This should be quick. This should be easy. I'm literally trying not to, uh... <laughs> literally trying not to actually, uh, what was it? To battle everybody. Off screen, I will try. I will. I mean, there could be some other Pokemon that you can actually get on, uh, on the Pokemon, uh... On the Pokedex. Now, here is a Pokemon that we could get on the Pokedex, and that is Ex Excavalier. Excavalier. Now, it is a Steel-type Pokemon, so we're going to have to switch it up right here. Let's go straight to Oinkinator. And, well, Oinkinator, you are the man, the myth, the legend, and wow, okay. Oh, wow, okay. So, let's see. Let's go right ahead. And, well, let's see. Let's see, let's go ahead and uh, use a Ember Attack. And there we go, look at that. Okay, Excavalier, not looking pretty good right now. And let's see, well, there is the level 40. What's up? What's up? Look at that. Okay, so that's two Pokemon at level 40. And now we gotta get the rest of the, the team up. Because it's only been two Pokemon, and you know... Uh, what was it? Killer Croc has just been uh, lucky. He's just been lucky because I caught him at level 30. Or basically at level 30 and well, shoot. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. Another cue ball wanting to battle. Coming with his Scrafty. And, well, let's go with Gigalift himself right here. Alright, Gigalift. Let's fly. Let's fly. Here comes the headbutt. And, whoa. That right there. Nearly takes out Scrafty, but this guy wants to come out with his, like... <laughs> he, wanted, he wants to come out with his low kick attack, man. Like, come on, really hit me with something good. And... There we go. And, well, let's see. He's coming, he's coming out with a girder, so... Let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's go straight for another fly. And here comes that bite attack. And that right there. <laughs> Okay. There we go. Alrighty. And look at that. Gigalift now is at level 33. It has been benefiting a lot from all these battles right here. And, well, we are close. We are very, very close to the end right here. Look at that. Okay. Say goodbye to everybody. I'm just driving. And, well, let's see. 14 minutes in. That's good. It's okay. We are going to be battling those guys right there on the, the bird trainer. So let's go ahead and come up here. See if we can find something. Let's see. Looking for a Tynamo. Want to trade it for a Genesect. Holy crud. 
<laughs> a Tynamo. I have that. Oh my god. Okay. So that is interesting because if you can get a Genesect right here, what the heck? Okay, I'm now it's just raising up my like it's raising up my uh, my curiosity right here. It really is, guys. So, oh damn. Let's see. Screw it. Let's go ahead and I kind of want to use Spoon, but uh, let's go with Mud. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's go. Yeah, let's go with Mud Slide. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so. Yeah, there are some legendary Pokemon that we need to trade. I am surprised that you can get a Genesect like that. So, if Genesect, if you could trade for a Genesect, then what the heck do you get at the Cinnabar or at the Cerulean City Cave? That right there is my question. So, I don't know. Fuck, I, I really don't know. And, well, let's see, Rooflet just kicking, getting his butt kicked, here we go, Bubble Beam, come on, Mud's, Mudslide, we're trying to get some more levels, and, well, there we go, and coming out with another Rooflet, let's just continue it on right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the heck can you get. Like, okay, so what can you find over at the power plants? What can you find in Cerulean Cave, and what do you find over at the, uh, at Victory uh, Road? Yeah, my, my curiosity is up there, guys, and I am, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hell-bent to try and find out all this stuff right now. And, well, there it is. Mudslide grows to level 28, and it's learning disable. Wow. Definitely not a move that I, I thought I would want to get, but, yeah, I'm not going to teach it that. Whatever. Okay, so here comes a Volby. Let's go ahead and switch it out to Kill a Croc right here. Oh yeah, okay, so Killer Croc is looking uh, mean as always. Okay, alrighty, so let's go straight for a crunch attack. And that crunch, not effective, but it does it does take a huge chunk. And well, here we are getting a fury attack, but let's go straight for another crunch attack because, well, it's definitely another, it's definitely the mo only move that we have that can actually work, so... Okay, so here comes a Volibi again. Let's go straight to Oinkinator. And, well, let's see. What can you find? What can you find right here? Here's the Oinkinator. And, well, let's see. Let's go straight for the Ember attack. Okay, alrighty. So here comes a Gust. It is going to be strong. But here comes the Ember. And it will be stronger. Volibi defeated. And, well, look at that. Okay, so we've survived four Pokemon. And, well, let's go ahead and continue it on right here. Let's see. I always check every grassy area for new Pokemon. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, the only reason why I went on the cycling road is because I wanted to make it a quick adventure to Fuchsia City. I get that there's another route to get to Fuchsia City, and trust me, I am not gonna, like, I, I am not looking forward to that area. Actually, I'm thinking about it right now, and I'm just gonna do it off screen, because, uh, yeah. You know, I've done it so many times that it's just gotten so annoying that it's best if we just did it off screen. So, that's what's gonna happen. The other route that leads to Fuchsia City, we'll be doing it off screen. We're gonna be battling everybody. I don't think there's an interesting Pokemon there. But if it were the case, then I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna save it prior, uh, prior to it. That way, you know, we can get back into it and make it an adventure again, I guess. I don't know. And, well, kill a croc doing some good stuff. And Bravari! Oh, wow! Here comes a Bravari. At level 29. That is a hacked Pokemon. <laughs> that is a hacked Pokemon if I've ever saw one. And here comes a wing attack. Bravari, holy crud. Okay, so there it is. Another move, and we got to level 42. Gravy. Okay. So that's good. That's awesome. Okay. And, well, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. I know it's a weakness, but it's a must. Okay, here we go. Kukuru Kukui! Who would you like my Pokemon call? My. Oh, no, not my Pokemon call, but you know what I mean. Hmm. Okay, so here we go, going up against 
a bird keeper, and he's coming out with another hack Pokemon, a Mandibuzz. And Mandibuzz looks pretty scary. Very scary. And, well, it looks like low kick actually works, but here comes a faint attack. Wow, Mandibuzz looks like a, a very evil Pokemon. A very, very evil Pokemon. And, well, let's go right ahead and do this one more time. And there you go. Say goodbye to Mandibuzz. And, well, Draven is the winner yet again. Okay, alrighty. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Seriously, we need to get the heck out of here. So here it is, guys. We are finally in Fuchsia City. And we're going to be doing a lot right here. We're going to be going to the Safari Zone and then just taking care of a whole bunch of other stuff. We're going to be checking out some stuff, too. So hopefully we, we, we will find some interesting stuff right here. I said that so many times. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.